Hi there, RC Girl here. Look what just came in the mail. I got an RC motorcycle. Been wanting to try one of these out for a long time. This company reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review one. It's a self-balancing bike. It can do wheelies. It looks super cool. They had me at wheelies. So let's take it out of the box. I'll show you what it comes with. And then we're gonna take it to the park and have some fun with this thing. Stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So make sure you like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I can't wait to take this to the park. It looks super fun from the videos that I've seen. It is my first RC motorcycle. It looks a little bit toy grade, but I don't care. It looks really fun. It came from Amazon, so I'll put a link in the description box below if you guys wanna check this out as well. Could be a really great gift for the kids or an RC enthusiast like me in your life. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay, let's take a look at the exterior of the box. Looks like you can take off the guy. There's a removable rider, LED headlights. That's pretty cool. Race up to 120 kilometers an hour. I don't know about that. Scaled speed, whatever that means. Uh, race grade rubber tires, shock absorbers. It looks like there's shocks. They're probably not oil filled. Multi-directional wheelies without support. It has a display kickstand thing. Looks like it's a rechargeable LiPo battery that's removable. We'll have to see where that little compartment is. 45 minute charge time. And it comes with this little transmitter thing here. So let's take a look inside the box. Oh boy. Looks like we got our instructions pack in a bazillion different languages. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Looks pretty cool. Looks really cool actually. It's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> pretty sick. Looks like there's a kickstand here. Where does this go? I'm assuming somewhere on the bottom. Here, there we go. Tiny little remote controller. I think we're gonna need to put some triple A's in here. It's pretty small, it is toy grade for sure. Then we got our, looks like our power our charging cable. And I think, I think that's it. So we got our throttle stick here. And then our direction stick, power button, and traction control. So this looks like it's for smooth settings and for rough settings. And looks like there's a little uh, push button here. You can eject the back and put in some batteries. Here's the plug-in port and the on and off switch on the bottom of the bike. Looks like the kickstand goes here. And we have these like little rubber roller wheel type things on the rear wheel. And then our front tire is just kind of a standard rubber tire. We do get a little bit of shock absorbing in the front. I honestly don't see where there's a place to remove the battery without disassembling the full bike. So I don't know how removable that is. Okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay. Whoop. Looks like, whoop. oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's take this outside actually. <gasps> Whoops, I almost rollered it off the table. So definitely an outdoor activity. We're gonna go to a park with a nice smooth black top and test it out for the first time. I wouldn't recommend turning it on on your table for the first time. So let's take this outside. Now I'm in a more suitable location. Let's turn this thing on. I'm gonna turn on the transmitter, the green button. It's turning off. Yep, looks like it's buttons flashing. And then our little on switch here. on the ground. To arm it, you gotta press up once. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. <laughs> and 
and forward. to be going faster or what but it looks like you arm it kind of get it stabilized by pressing the little up button on the ground okay i was getting pretty good for a second stabilizing and wheeling oh boy oh boy okay stabilizing Going forward, you don't have to keep holding the throttle. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys are looking for a little motorbike to wheel around, it definitely needs a smooth surface. Um, batteries seem to last somewhat of a long time. I don't know, maybe 20, 25 minutes. A little bit challenging. It's a little more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so what do I think all in all? Here we go. I think it's gonna be better suited for the younger ones. It was a little bit hard to get it into the wheelie mode, but once I figured it out, you kind of have to like, press the wheelie button and then slowly go forward and let off the throttle. It was fun uh, driving it around. You need a really smooth kind of a blacktop surface for it to work. I found that on like the really rough surface it wasn't working so well. It kind of like jitter and then fall over. Did a lot of falling over. <laughs> I think it could be fun for the younger ones for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. It was really fun testing it out. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you later. What do you think about it, Dante? Huh?